Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that button, and if you wanna hit the little bell button, you'll be notified when I put out new videos. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the feedback I get. All right, I'm back with another haul. Woohoo! Uh, I went to the Seattle Goodwill outlet with some friends last Saturday, the 12th. I've got to look at my receipt here. Uh, I went with a big group of girlfriends. I'm like, okay, who all did I go with? <laughs> I went with my friend Ty. She is Lux Huntress on Instagram. I went with my friend Lily. Uh, she is Lily Bushnell. I don't know if there's more to it on Instagram. Uh, my friend Hillary, which is thrift underscore Zilla. <clears throat> my friend Brittany, that's at three thrifty sisters. Uh, my friend Janelle, that is Natty, N-A-T-T-Y, Natty styles you. And my friend Nicole, and that's the Duke and Dame, at the Duke and Dame, I think that's all it is. Um, I'll put everybody's Instagram info down below so you can go check them out. Was that all of us? I think that was all of us. Hopefully I didn't forget anyone. Anyways, um, so I've got my receipts with me. Uh, we did all pay together because it's cheaper by the pound. Um, if you hit 100 pounds, then you go down to 89 cents a pound. So we did. My portion was 29, well, okay, 33.7 pounds at 89 cents a pound. So I paid uh, 29.99 plus tax. That's probably about like $33. And then I did get some accessories and shoes, and so that was a total of, with tax, $12.57. So all in, I think I spent about $55, just a little over $55, which is great. I feel like I got some really good stuff, and I'm happy with what I spent, and I need to start listing, so that's why I'm doing this haul now. Okay, so I'll jump right in. I got these, what are they? Nike dry fit running short size medium. These look like a youth medium. These do not look like a women's medium because I've been a women's medium in my life and my hips were not that small. <laughs> this is, I don't know what this is, but I grabbed it. It's Sons of Intrigue. You can see it's got this like open stitching, which I believe is intentional because like, Look at that. I'm not sure if it's a men's or women's. There's not even any interior tags. It was kind of a gamble on my part to pick this one up, but I liked it, so I grabbed it. I don't even think it has a size tag. I mean, it looks like probably a women's medium, if it's a women's. Okay, this is inside out, but you kind of get what it is. It's a gap fit, breathe, women's athletic, uh, striped tank. It is a size small. This is a uh, pair of Hannah Anderson size 130. I think these are boys, but I mean, could be unisex. Drawstring, the other side of the string is just in there. Pants, these are cute. I would give them to my son, but he's like a 140 now and or whatever the next size up is. Okay, these are a pair of, I believe these are men's. Scotch and soda, the style is Warren. And it, yeah, it's men's. It's the 3232 pant <clears throat> with, they're like, they've got whiskering on them. They're like blue. I mean, they're blue jeans, but it's almost like a, looks like a colored blue jean. Put those there. This is a Meadow Rue top, which is anthropology. There's the tag. Sorry, I didn't show the tag on the scotch and soda one. Size small. This is super cute. Just a little floral striped navy top. <clears throat> this is a Uniqlo Youth size 9, 10 space dye charcoal gray hoodie. <laughs> I don't know why I was struggling for the word there. Okay, this I just grabbed. It looked interesting and cool. I'll look up the comps. If you know anything about any of the stuff that I'm mentioning, please feel free to say down below. I do appreciate when people let me know. This is American Giant. It's a women's small. 
Uh, let's see, it's kind of like a marigold color. Just a hoodie. I thought it was cute, so I grabbed it. Again, if you're interested in purchasing anything from my hauls, as I did have a number of people reach out to me on my last haul, uh, just email me. It's elduchothrift at gmail.com. I will put it in the description so you can just grab it from there. These are a pair of Jake, oh no, not Jake Crew. This is Jack Spade, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is like part of Kate Spade. I think, I wanna say it's like her husband, her husband's line. Yeah, which is David Spade, the comedian's brother. So this is Jack Spade. These are men's pants, size 34. I'm not sure if this is intentional, but there is like this paint splatter here. Oh yeah, and there's some here. So yeah, I don't know if it's intentional, but they're in otherwise good condition. No fraying at the hem. So, you know, size 34. Mmm, that might fit my husband. I have to show him those unless somebody wants them and beats me to the punch. This is a mini Bowden size 3-4 dress. Very cute. Okay, these are a pair of Gap jeans, size 28, true skinny ankle. This, these are kind of cool. They have this studding along and all along the back, which I thought was really cool. And then they do, there's some distressing there, and then they have a frayed hem. Yeah, I thought these were really cute. Wish they were my size. Darn. I kind of should have left this folded the other way, but oh well. Talking to myself. Okay, this is a Lululemon tank. There's a little loose string there. I will cut that. Um, there's a little bit of fuzzies on the back, but that's just because it's kind of staticky. Here's the logo. I don't know what size this is. Let's see. This is very staticky. <laughs> okay, sometimes it'll say on the inside band what the size is, but it doesn't say here. And all the tags have been cut out here, so I have no idea. I'll have to figure out the size. If I had to guess, it looks like a women's medium, small medium. These are a pair of Athleta leggings. These are really cute. Uh, they're MT, medium tall. And they're just like a charcoal gray. And they do have kind of a flared, let me see, boot cut, cut to them. <sighs> this pile is going to quickly get out of hand. <laughs> okay, this was fun. It reminded me of my friend Kayla, who's Hazel Hearts Vintage on Instagram. Her daughter loves Zelda, so this is a Zelda dress, which I wish it was her daughter's size, but this is a, you know, women's or junior's medium. Um, it's so cute, and I would totally give it to her, but <laughs> most not going to fit her daughter. Oops. Uh, let's see what this is. Okay, so I'm not sure why I grabbed this. I'm not even sure if I did grab it. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when I go with friends, Things magically appear in my cart that I didn't put in there. I'm not mad about it because like nine times out of ten, it's awesome. So I don't think I grabbed this. Maybe I grabbed it thinking it was like Lululemon, but it is not. The brand is Bravado. Bravado Designs, I think is what it says. This is a 32D slash E in parentheses double D. I believe it is a maternity breastfeeding camisole. So I didn't pick this up, but I'll look up comps. If it's worth selling, I'll sell it. So otherwise I'll just redonate it. I'm sure it could be useful to somebody. You know, actually where that could be useful possibly is there's a women's shelter that's in the next town over from me, that one that I'm aware of. I'm, there's lots of women's shelters. But I was looking at the list of like things that women's shelters need and a lot of it had to do with like pregnancy and small babies um so that would be a good donation possibly okay <clears throat> this is really fun <laughs> not sure what it'll be worth but check this out 
I know that this was like a thing, these like wolf t-shirts uh, a few years ago. So I don't know if this is just like one that was created in the past couple years just to hop on the trend, but I thought it was cool. Maybe I'll even keep it for myself. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a size medium, I think. <sighs> this is a J. Crew skirt, size two. This is really cute. I, in the past month, maybe it was just one, but I picked up a J. Crew skirt, and what I didn't realize at the time was that actually the waistband was stretched out, so I had to end up just like, you know, getting rid of it. Uh, however, this one is not stretched out. It's size two, polka dot. It feels like linen. What do you know? It is, it's 100% linen. Very cute. This is, I've never seen, <laughs> so it's Lauren, Ralph Lauren. I've never seen athletic wear from them. I really like the color. I feel like it's a great time to pick up athletic wear, so I did. It does have thumb holes here, and then this is interesting. I'm not sure what this is for. There's like a little pouch here to keep your things. Maybe keys, car keys. There's one on each side, so that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, next I have a pair of Nike dry fit legging capris. They're size small. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, what are these? Another pair of, okay, these are Nike Golf Tour Performance Dry Fit Leggings. Again, size small. I like picking up Nike. It's, you know, it's a good brand name item. People like it. Yeah, can't go wrong. Okay, this is, oh, okay. <laughs> so this, my friend Brittany was going through her cart and I, she picked it up and maybe she said like, oh, check this out, isn't this cool? And I was like, <gasps> You know, I was like, can I, I don't know if I said, can I have it? But I kind of was like, ooh, wow, my husband would really like that. And so she's so sweet and she gave it to me and it is a Goonies t-shirt. If you've not seen the Goonies, which I'm gonna admit, I had not seen the Goonies for like until a few years ago, despite my husband and I being together for like almost 15 years now. It wasn't a movie that I saw in my childhood. It just wasn't. But it was one that he grew up watching and he loves it. So anyways, um, I do recommend watching it. A couple years ago, we actually took a road trip down to, this was after I had just left my full-time job. And one of the luxuries I never had at my full-time corporate job was taking a large amount of time off and really being off. I was always still on call every vacation I you know I was like taking phone calls everything so this was like a real vacation so we took a road trip for two weeks I want to say and our first stop was in Astoria Oregon which is where a lot of the Goonies was filmed so I actually recommend stopping in Astoria Oregon if you're ever on a road trip or in that area it was actually a really cute town they do have a like a little Goonies museum that you can go to and it's the jail cell uh, where they filmed like the jail scenes in the beginning of the movie, I believe. And you can like go in there and walk around. It was actually really fun. But then the town itself is actually just really cute. We went and got fish and chips at, I can't remember what the name of the place was. It was like on Oprah's favorite things. And it was amazing. It's like this little boat that's been, you know, put on land. And there's, they don't open till like 10 or 11 in the morning. And you have to line up. And there was a huge line. But anyway, it was delicious. We just had a great time and actually there was a number of thrift stores and antique stores there. I got a great vintage Hawaiian dress there that I loved. You know, maybe, I was gonna say maybe not the best prices for like buying things to flip, but actually there was one store that was like a true thrift store in town that I found. I actually believe, again, that the proceeds from that went to a women's shelter. Uh, and I got some really great stuff there. I wish I remembered the name. Maybe I'll link it down in the description later. But if you're in Astoria, stop by, go to the Goonies Museum, get some fish and chips. I would tell you this is for sale, but it's not. It's a size large and it's for me or my husband. So thank you so much, Brittany. I do appreciate that. <clears throat> okay, moving on. I did not look up comps on this. What do you know? Uh, the brand is called 
XCVI, which those are Roman numerals. I don't know off the top of my head what that equates to. This is a size 1X. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember putting this in my cart, but it is really cute. It gives me kind of like lag and look vibes. I don't know, it could be worth nothing, but I thought it was cool. Okay, this Hillary gave to me. It is Athleta. It's just like an older style Athleta piece. It's a light windbreaker. It is vented. I'm guessing this would be great for, it's kind of got these like little tribal symbols on here, uh, like running or some sort of like athletic sport. <laughs> okay, these I found, sorry, I'm gonna grab my stuff. Sorry for the booty shot. I feel like this was in Hillary's throwback pile. I don't know why she threw them all back. Maybe she said she had too many of them at home, but she just, there was like a bunch of these free people bags. These are just their little shopper bags that I think you get when you shop there. I don't shop there, so I don't know. Um, <laughs> but the, I, there's four of them and they all look to be in good condition. They're really cute. Little reusable bags, I think. Yeah, they're all four different styles. So I will probably just lot those up and sell them as a lot. I learned through the reselling community that that is a thing. People sell free people bags. People sell uh, Lululemon shopper bags. They sell everything. You can sell anything, right? It's reselling. Okay, grabbing more stuff. Oh gosh, I gotta keep my, putting my foot to sleep. Next, I have a Bowden sweater. Sorry, I'm just needs to be lint rolled. Size medium, kind of this, what is this, Kelly green, I think it's what it's called. V-neck, and it's got a like navy blue contrasting on the inside with these gold buttons. I love Bowdoin stuff, it's really pretty. You know, that's the fun part about reselling is that I just wasn't familiar with a lot of brands. Bowdoin was one of those brands I didn't know about, and so that's what's been so fun about reselling is that you just learn about all these new brands. Okay. I want to say Hillary gave me this. She's such a sweetie and you know, she's always at the bins before I am. And so when I get there, she's always like, I've got a pile of stuff for you, which is so nice. So I really appreciate that Hillary. Uh, this is an Obermeyer knit sweater. It's a ladies medium. It is 30% wool. How fun is this? It's got a little mock turtleneck. So cute. Key. I'm going to throw that down there. Excuse me, I feel like I'm gonna burp. <laughs> it didn't wanna come out. Okay, this is, I think this is Free People. Speak of the devil. This is Intimately Free People. I believe this is an older label. It's an extra small, sorry, you can't really see it. Um, yeah, kind of patchworky, three quarter sleeve, asymmetrical hem. What is the material on this? <clears throat> Is there a tag? Yes. It is 95% rayon, 5% spandex. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. There's some fuzzies on here. Uh, I'll try and get them off. I'm kind of nervous because I don't want it to tear. And there already is some loose strings here. So I'll cut those. I'll do what I can with it, but obviously I'm going to disclose any flaws that it will have. I believe this is free people also. Yes, it's intimately free people. Size small. Mm, can't really see that, can you? There you go. I'm not sure what this style is called, but I bet somebody's gonna know and they're gonna leave in the comments and I appreciate it. This is cool. It's like a, I don't know if this is a dress, but tunic thingy. I don't know if it's supposed to have like a camisole underneath it, but I don't have the camisole if there's supposed to be one. Okay, so, you know, I hate when people say, I never pick up this brand. But I don't ever pick that up this brand. That's just the gosh darn truth. Not to say I won't. And actually, when I showed it to the group of gals that I was there with, and I was like, I don't usually pick this up, but what do you guys think? Because I actually really liked it. So it's Alfani. I'm not sure where that's sold. Is it like Macy's? This is a size large. But check out this cool jacket. Can you see it? It's got pockets. It's kind of, reminds me of kind of like that scuba material. It snaps, I don't wanna open it all up. It's in excellent condition. I would almost call it new without tags, but 
I don't know that to be true. So yeah, I grabbed it. Why not? Okay, this is Artisan New York. I think that was an item in my last haul. 100% linen skirt. This is super cute. Don't always love picking up skirts just because they're um, sometimes harder to move. Um, but this was just so cute with the little utility belt there. So there's the yacht. Okay, let's see. What's this one? <clears throat> okay, this is... Oh, no, did I think? Hmm. I think I looked it up and it was like... I feel like it was a good buy. This is Gatto Gatto, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Can you see? And it is a size six. It says 100% cotton made in Bali. Okay. Is it a skirt? What, is, what are you? I think it's a skirt. Yeah. And then it's got this like, you know, strap tie belt. It's really pretty. So I bought it. This is a Hannah Anderson PJ, a little Christmas PJ. It's a size nine to 12 months. So, you know, we just passed the season for this, but somebody will want it for next season. Okay, this is super cute. It's not anything like remarkable, but I really like the color and the style. It's a Banana Republic trench. It has the belt, which is back here, which is always like half the battle. I almost want to say it's like new without tags because it's got this little, like the original string. It's an extra small. It's really pretty. It's like a maroon color, burgundy maroon. So don't want to lose that belt. There's that. What are you? I think you're a Uniqlo. Yep. This is a Uniqlo women's extra small lightweight puffer. I think I've talked about these in the past. It's like a silver color. These are great. I love Uniqlo puffers. They, they're lightweight. They're when, like brand new. They're pretty inexpensive. They travel really well. I've got nothing but love for Uniqlo. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, all right, what else do I have here? Okay, this is a vest from, it says Jigsaw Blues, London, England. I wasn't familiar with Jigsaw. I tried looking up comps for like Jigsaw Blues vest and nothing came up. However, then I looked up Jigsaw, London, England, and the comps are pretty darn good. So, there's the label. Mm. There's the label. <laughs> How do I do it? I gotta master this huh? showing the label business. Mm. There we go. Oh, almost had it. Okay, anyways, Jigsaw Blues. This is a size large. I don't know, is this a women's or a men's? I'm gonna have to do a little more research, but it's really nice. What is it made of? 100% cotton. Huh. Cool. I like it. This is a Guinevere cardigan, which is Anthropology. This is a size small. It's just like an open front waterfall cardigan. Waterfall? Yeah. No belt or anything. Kind of like a blue E color. <laughs> this is Eileen Fisher. Size medium. Made of Italian yarn. Pretty eggplant colored sweater. It's actually really pretty. My mom told me that she started watching some of my hauls. She's probably not watching all of them. She probably watched like 20 minutes of one. <laughs> and if she actually watched, she would tell me that she wants that. So this is going to be the true test. If my mom actually watches my hauls, then mom, comment down below. But I bet you good money she's not watching. So, <laughs> Okay, this is uh, Hillary gave me this again. Torrid. Brand new with tags, $58.50, size two, red dress. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this listed because hello, Valentine's Day. This is a little fit and flare dress. No pockets, oh darn. But that's really pretty. Love that. <clears throat> this is 
So Striker, which is a, I looked it up. It's from Spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R, which is another outdoor skiing brand. They, I guess it's in the family of brands. I don't know what this is. But anyways, this is a men's large jacket. The comps on this are great. So anyways, if you see Striker, or Spider for that matter, pick it up. This is, I believe it's Cheddar B, if I'm saying that correctly, a size 14 dress. It is like a, what do you call that? Is that like a halter or cross back, whatever you call that style? It's really pretty. It's like coral coloring. It has pockets. It doesn't have pockets. Darn. There's like a little bit of light padding in the chest. Is it in the other one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ah, cute dress. Okay. I'm gonna throw that over there. Um, okay, this I've picked up before. I'm not sure where this is sold. It's called Hazel Hazel Hazel. It's a, it's a size small. I wanted to zip it, but now I'm seeing. Oh, it does a zip. This is really cute. I bought it for style. I've picked up this brand only like once or twice before and it did take me a little bit longer to sell the item. So again, I don't know where this is sold. If you know where this is sold, could you let me know? Oh, what is that? Okay, I'm gonna, is that the lighting? I thought I washed this, but maybe I don't have to wash it again. That is weird. Okay, sorry, sorry. It's really cute. It's like ruffled at the bottom, but do you see there's like these spots there from the buttons? That's weird. Huh. I'll put some spray and wash on it and we'll see what we can do. This eel is just a really pretty dress and I don't, now that I've been doing a lot of flat lays, I actually don't really like picking up dresses because, especially like a long dress because then I have to hang it up or put it on a dress form. So it's a Charlotte Russe. It's a size extra large, but it's just really pretty. Can you see it? I kind of want to keep it. I kind of want to keep it just so I don't have to photograph it. It's just a maxi dress. This is an ASOS swim bikini top. It is a US 36 G. You go girl. Bikini top is <laughs> like the size of my head. Yeah, there's that. This is a Hannah Anderson, size 90, little swim top, little ruffles on the bottom. Put that down there. This is a mini Bowden skirt, seven to eight year old. Super cute, seersucker is what this is called with the little embroidered flowers. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what I picked up that is accessory and shoe related. Okay. This up. Okay, well, it's a scarf. It is Glen C Galloway 400 Glen Cree 100% mohair made in Scotland scarf. Oh, I just got a little battery. Can you see? There we go. So I don't know. I don't know if that's good or I don't remember. I may have looked it up at the time. I felt like I tried to do my due diligence with that. Okay, these are a pair of Uggs that are in surprisingly good condition. I think they're authentic. I think you can tell by the bottoms. They feel real. I'm not sure what size they are. Let's see. These are in really good condition. So I'm gonna have to look up how you clean Uggs. Oh, here's like a better view of it. Um, I think maybe you can soak them, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna look it up, but I don't see a size. Do you know how to find the size? If you know how to find the size, please comment down below and let me know if there's an easier way to do that. But here they are, just a pair of Uggs. Um, looks like I got a couple other pairs of shoes because I don't remember. These are a pair of, oh, Picolinos. Uh, this was given me, to me by somebody else at the bins who said that they were worth selling. I think I've sold Picolinos once, like 
I think they make men's because I saw they were men's shoes that I sold. Okay, these are a pair of mini Melissa's. They're really cute. They do need to be cleaned. They're like a little kitty cat. But yeah, so they need to be cleaned. I don't know what I'm gonna do to them because it kind of feels like a little bit of like a suede type material. These are a US size 12, but they're really adorable and I just couldn't leave them behind. And these, what are you? Oh, another kid's pair of shoes. These are Michael Michael Kors little jellies. They're like a kind of like a bubblegum pink. A size 13. They do need to be cleaned. There's like a little bit of like blue discoloration there that I don't know if that'll clean out, but otherwise they're in not bad condition. You know, I feel like the smaller the child is, the better the condition of the item is just because it doesn't get as much wear sometimes, depending, unless you have what we like to call a curious child. Spirited, what are the other words for that? <laughs> just a very curious child. Okay, I grabbed some Ipsy bags, cause why not? I think I've seen all of those prints. I scored a hobo wallet right in the last minute. This was at the register. I'm like, is this all I got for accessories? Mm. Okay, anyways, this was at the register. Like somebody had just left it to, left it behind and I asked the cashier, I said, is, is somebody coming back for that? Can I have that? And she was just like, Neh. So it's mine now. There you go, hobo wallet. This is a really cool print. I've never seen this before. It's in pretty, mm, I was gonna say pretty good condition. There is some wear there and there, but even on, even on its worst day, a hobo wallet is $20 on the very low end. So yeah. Okay, this is fun. I just had to grab it it's from Pier One. It's new with new in package, just a little gel sleep mask. I don't know if I'll like try to resell it or just keep it for myself. Oh, it's like little Valentine's Day. Can you see it? Parts, so I guess I should list it soon if I want to. This is a bando, B-A-N dot D-O, little coin purse. This is super cute. I love bando. If you're not familiar with this line, it's kind of like lifestyle products. Their founder is super awesome. Her name is Jen Gotch, G-O-T-C-H. I follow her on Instagram. She's one, so funny. She's incredibly real. Um, she just, yeah, she will bring light and levity to your day. Okay, this is funny because last haul I picked up a Bad Bats Maru, which is Sanrio, little coin purse, so maybe I'll bundle these together. This is like a little backpack, like foamy, and it's in really good condition. It looks like it was probably never used. So there's that. This is a Hamilton little cosmetics bag. Looks like somebody probably got this at a show. Maybe I'll throw it through the wash because it is canvas and it just could use a little cleaning. So I'll throw that through the wash. Funny story, we took Oliver to see, we lucked out and got three tickets to Hamilton. We took Oliver with us to go see it and this was, I think he was still five at the time. <laughs> no, six, six. Um, yeah, he, he wasn't necessarily uh, the right demographic for it. He was just a touch board. But Kyle and I had a really nice time and Oliver does remember some of the songs. So there was some moments he did retain, but, and he wasn't well prepped. He didn't know a lot about it either. I'm coming to my child's defense. He didn't know. He didn't know what he was getting into, but he gets to say that he saw Hamilton, which is cool. Okay, this is a Marvel belt. belt? Yeah, I think it's a belt. It's really cool. I don't think my husband will want this. But then again, I don't put I don't put it past him. So he may have first dibs. Oh, I got a bagalini bag, of course. This one's black. This one's actually really cute. What is this? Oh, there's just like another strap in here. Weird. All sorts of straps. There is some like discoloration or maybe some paint. A couple of little blue spots there. Obviously, I'll disclose them. Maybe I should wash this because that could wash out. Put that there. Um, these are a pair of Spanx, high waist, all the way up. 
suggested retail price, $28, new in package, high-waisted pantyhose. I think there's women out there who still wear pantyhose, so I will attempt to sell these. What size are they? Oh, size F, which is like 240 pounds to 305 pounds, so cool. There's those. Oh, I should have put it back in here. Some more Ipsy bags. Another Ipsy bag. That one sounded crinkly, so, you know, I gotta look inside. Oh, I got this busted. <laughs> Kate Spade wallet. Well, oh well. I'm still gonna sell it, and it's still gonna sell. It's really nice on the inside, which is unfortunate. Somebody just needs to sew this down. Because it's still in pretty decent condition. I'm like, there's no scratches or anything. There's just fading to the logo. It's got the zipper pull. You know, it's got this tear there, but otherwise the inside is really clean. So that's a bummer, but I don't think it's going to not, it's not gonna not sell. <clears throat> this is super cute. I had to grab this. It's a Lily Pulitzer sunglass case. I have sold them before. These, oh, I'm gonna wash these. These are North Face Little Kids gloves, hot pink. They're super adorable. So of course I grab them. This is a Vera Bradley like little purse, which Vera Bradley does sell for me in case you're wondering. And then of course I had everything inside of a Vera Bradley purse. And then I actually think I got another Vera Bradley purse, but oh shoot, and I got that other dress. Whatever. I'm gonna have a couple of things to show you next time from this haul. There's like a Land's End dress that's really pretty and something else. I can't remember. Anyways, that's that. So this is my haul. I'm looking around me. I think I got everything with the exception of those things that I forgot. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my haul, give me a thumbs up and yeah, I'll talk with you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.